Truman had to deal with a lot of big issues, like the atomic bomb issue, the Cold War with the Soviet Union, and Roswell was another issue that he had to deal with. It was an important issue, unlike the rumored crashes uh, in the FDR days, Truman was forced to publicly deal with a, U a UFO situation. There was uh, thousands of sightings that were on the newspaper. This is July of 1947, all the time. I see him as the first president to actually deal with the UFO issue in a public sense. Suddenly Roswell occurs, they have a press leak, uh, it starts to get picked up all over the country. He has to set up a, a situation where he's able to deal with it without getting dragged into it. And it seemed like he was successful. The, the, the story of, uh, if, if true, of him setting up the MJ-12 committee shortly after the event to deal with uh, the extraterrestrial intelligence, with crashes, with all this important stuff to keep it out of the, the public eye. Um, he, we, we know that he was, even though he put on a, a, a persona in the public of being very skeptical, one person asked him, there's a number of people who, not in, on the record, but in private asked him about UFOs and he would make statements like, I've never seen a, a blue cow and I hope I never see one. He, he came across as a great skeptic. But in behind the scenes, if you took a look at the, the Roswell incident, you could see that, that he was busy behind the scenes trying to deal with it and was trying to keep it out of the public but deal with the situation. You can see a lot of his top generals, Vandenberg, uh, all these different, Twining, all these different people were involved, that, that have been identified to be involved, were in around Truman all the time. Uh, he met with them a couple days after for a, for a signing. Uh, he was able to handle a question about two days after Roswell occurred. Uh, it was one of the only two times the president's ever been questioned on UFOs and unfortunately the reporter asked him the wrong question, asked him all these reports of UFOs in the newspaper, um, have you got anything? And the president basically said, all I know is what I've read in the newspaper. The question went on to something else, Truman was able to escape it. So he was forced to keep this thing from blowing up, from people demanding an answer, and they did an demand answers from the Air Force and from the lower level, but he managed to keep the White House out of it, where he didn't have to address the subject himself. Now we know that he, even though there's really nothing written, a lot of the stuff um, in the Truman Library, uh, even a lot of the regular stuff, you'll see his presidential schedule for two days, they really don't have anything on his presidential schedule as to what he was doing. Now, although it shows that, that he was really not in the White House at the time, or that he wasn't really directly involved with any of the key Roswell people, later on we came to learn that, uh, for example, General Ramey, who came up with the weather balloon story, the White House record shows that Ramey and Truman never met. And yet researcher George Filer at one point interviewed uh, Ramey's wife after Ramey had died, and Mrs. Ramey said, oh yes, she and her husband were very good friends with the president and they'd met the president, on a, the president had visited them on a number of occasions. So here we have a, a sort of building a case where you see this cover up or this, they're dealing with the problem behind the scenes. And Truman did it excellently. He was very conscious of security. He set up the, uh, you know, the CIA and a bunch of other different agencies to deal with. Uh, intelligence matters and, and to crystallize things so that the White House knew what was going on, whereas before it was sort of like very, various agencies all doing their own little thing. He was very skilled at doing this, at setting up a, a, a sort of a mechanism that could handle this kind of stuff in secrecy.